right.
The colonies are being attacked again. The enemy drones, they have returned. I need to focus. What should my priority be? the colonies. There is no time to lose. Once I fend off their attack, I will focus on finding their base. I must go into battle. But what strategy should I follow? I need to assess the enemy force. Once I figure out the size of their army and their resource supply chains, I can strike back and end this. What should I do to end this? I should locate a weak spot and take them out properly. The damage to the colonies seems to be severe. I must decide what to do. I copy, Sana. It is unusual to hear from you. What happened? My mum. She was trying to protect the colonies. She was ambushed and they... They killed her. Who? The children of Carmine did this. We have to avenge her death. ISA will not authorize it. I don't care what ISA thinks. We've been attacked more than once. My mother died. How much longer are we letting this go on? I have been ordered not to. They killed her. I thought you were friends. I'm sorry, Sana. I understand your frustration. But Elia would not have defied ISA's orders for vengeance. And you should not either. Stop, just stop. We both know that's not true. You've got to go after the children of Carmine and make them pay. Your adrenaline levels are spiking. I advise you to get some rest and reconsider. Look, you can tell ISA that I forced you to do it, okay? I cannot attack without cause. Fine. How about you take a little look for their base, huh? You don't even have to do anything. Let's just find them. 
I know the codes. I'll unlock the zone for you. Okay? Please, Amy.
building decay indicates that it's been buried in ice for the last 150 years. Faint Chinese characters can still be seen on its eastern wall. We've confirmed, we've confirmed that this building was a primitive radio station that transmitted communications between the Tong Hong mission and Earth. <clears throat> Our technicians were able to couple the old radio communication system to ours. Now our ground-based signal reception has gotten quite a boost. Hi Amy, guess what? We finished researching the abandoned radar station. I should share what the researchers found at the radar station. The building transmitted communications between the Tong Hong mission and Earth. And we found that it was actively transmitting and receiving signals from Earth. I can't help putting the pieces together. This active communication building and the attacks we've suffered? I'm starting to believe the techies are behind all of it. Maybe they're behind this Children of Carmine thing. Our technicians commandeered their radar system and used it to boost our own ground-based signal reception. Let ISA know our suspicions. But Sana... We have to take decisive action. Stay alert and I'll call you back once you've confirmed our theory. Whoever hacked my communications sent us to an old Chinese facility. It is exactly where the message said it would be. What is so interesting about a radar station? Those messages must be... Oh, look at that. The message was too specific. It must have been directed at me. But who would want me to find this building? Again. Could that earlier message about Carmine be related to this one? If they are related, then they must be from... A transmission from the techies. They did point me to a Chinese facility, after all. But why? I am no closer to solving this.
Get that does. What the fuck? My records show that Earth has suffered profound changes during the last few centuries. Half the human population became refugees after several planet-wide catastrophes. Every nation is fighting for survival on Earth. Since ISA created me, I should remain loyal to them and the Oxy UN, right? If the techies are their enemies, then I should not help them in any way. But since I was created, would nationality apply to me? was created by a specific faction, but I am working toward humanity's future as a whole.
fucking ass. Uh, space is all the way. Bio. It makes me wonder, am I only my body and mind, manufactured by the Oxy-UN, or am I something more? send a message that the colony should be left alone. I hope this means that the hostile force is completely destroyed. But I cannot be sure of that. Amy, did you finish them off? I am picking up some activity in Sector SA-7. It appears some drones escaped. They seem to have a third base in that area. Then get rid of them! End them, and we'll finally be safe, and my mother will be avenged! Sauna, you are extremely agitated. There are trained psychologists in your colony. Some of them even knew your mother. I suggest you talk to them and get help. I don't need help. I need you to protect us like you're supposed to! I will not put more colonists at risk to pursue them. Your mother protected human life above all else. I will honor her memory. But I... I... I don't know what else to do. ISA won't protect us. They'll leave us to die if it means protecting their mining contracts. We can't give up like this. I've got to think of something. An alternative to ISA's plan. Maybe an evacuation plan. Or some other defensive system. I'll work on it, because no one else is going to help us. Seven. ISA's leading the way in terraforming Mars and still using this junk satellite tech? <laughs> Unbelievable. Huh? A billion dollar Mars mission built on the back of... <laughs> Data technology. I don't know how we are the first to access your system. <laughs> it's practically an open door. By the way, thanks for restoring our radar station. It's good to know that it can withstand more than a hundred years and several meters of snow. Tong Hong Station? Then you're a techie? <laughs> a bit more than just a techie. I am Nian Zhen, 
leader of the operational committee. It's fascinating that ISA has you using that word. We've got all sorts of nicknames for you Oxy UN types too. Mr. Zen, I am obligated to inform you that this communication violates the Outer Space Treaty. Your predecessor added regulations to the Pact in 2050, limiting all communications between Oxy UN and the Eastern Coalition. Right, right. We don't play well with outsiders, I know. Not publicly, at least. With your help, we could change that. Cooperation between our nations is authorized only in the event of an external threat. And you've been attacked already, so... Yes, but we have not identified the source of the attacks. It may very well be something you initiated. ISA programmed you to see us as the enemy. I get that. But you... You are the most sophisticated AI in existence. So I'm opening the door for you to draw your own conclusions, rather than force-feeding them to you like ISA does. You are extraordinary. And like Mars, you belong to no one. We are not enemies, and I will prove it to you. That is not entirely correct. The robotic components that make up the AC Amy line belong to. Please, that's the speech I say programmed you to give. I'm interested in what you are really thinking. As I said, I want you to come to your own conclusions. Look into this location. 170.5 degrees west, 25.5 degrees south. There is more to ISA's terraforming plan than they told you. You should know the full picture of what you are dealing with. Just look there, and I'll contact you again. We're about to pass out of alignment with the radar station antenna. Good luck, Amy. The fuck you shoot me out I here truly for? mean that. Yan out. Fucking asshole. You even put it on the list. It's not a fucking task. No reason for that. One. That call was strange. I do not know what to make of it. the remains of Mars 2 lander near the Hellespontus Mons area. This spacecraft was the first man-made object to reach Mars, so it's quite surreal to stand next to it. It's well known that the lander's parachute failed to be deployed during the EDL phase. It crashed on the surface in 1971 where we found it. <laughs> His story checks out. The records show that the leader of the Eastern Coalition is in fact Neon Zed, 55 years old, Taiwanese, one of the richest businessmen in Asia, and only recently appointed the leader of the operational committee, founded his own company at 23 years old, and went on to become president of the Maid Sai Group, 
They are the biggest manufacturer of 3D printed components in the East. If that was truly him, I need to be careful. He is as smart as he is ambitious. What could the techies want from me? They are Oxy UN's rivals. Should I trust him? For the time being, I will let him think I trust him. Perhaps it will help me figure out what is truly happening on Mars. Humans are a peculiar species. They bring distrust wherever they go. The advancement of technology and the prospect of spreading out to the stars has not lessened their conflicts at all. Their problems have even reached Mars, which was neutral ground from the start. It has gotten so complicated. Dr. Foster is gone. Those odd messages keep coming. And now the techies are proposing cooperation. I am being pulled in so many directions. Hi, Amy. Just checking in. The colonies are growing steadily and terraforming is on the schedule. And you know what? My mom taught me that when things are going too well, that's when you've got to stay alert. There is nothing to worry about, Sana. <laughs> I know, but I've got big shoes to fill, so I'm taking all the advice I can get. I should tell you that I have received another message. From the children of Carmine? No. This was from Neon Zen, leader of the Eastern Coalition. The techies? That's a very serious violation of Code 1A3972. Did you run the security and defense protocol? That call should have been terminated immediately. I was not able to. The protocol was overridden. How did they do that? They gained access after we restored the Tong Hong radar station. It is possible that ISA believes there's a spy among the colonists. Well, I can't blame them for thinking that. It's the easiest explanation after all the security breaches and attacks. What do the techies want? Mr. Zen said ISA has been withholding information from us. He wants us to work together. Maybe this was the techies' plan all along. Jam our networks, spread hysteria with this children of Carmine nonsense, and pit ISA against us. We need to figure out what the techies are planning. We need to proceed very, very carefully here, Amy. Do not report Zen's call to ISA yet, okay? Our entire mission may depend on it. 
Let Zen think we're trusting him for now. Until we figure out our next move. Okay? I'll work out what we can do on our end in the meantime. Sona out. Who is the real enemy here? The children of Carmine. They warned us to leave, and then attacked the colonies when we did not obey. Now we need to defend ourselves against a hostile force. But who Who are they? A dissenting group? Fanatics? Are they here on Mars with us? If they do exist, then we are at great risk. The Fire Dragon mission. Abandoned. The Techie radar station in the Southern Hemisphere. Abandoned. All those abandoned missions around the planet. Mars's past raises too many questions for so few answers. Hi, how's everything up there, Amy? Everything looks good, Sana. Good. How long has it been since you arrived on this planet, Amy? On Sol- You don't have to answer. It was a rhetorical question. I'm first generation Mars-born. I've never been to Earth, but I feel like humanity doesn't belong anywhere else but here. There is some contradiction to that. Mars had to be terraformed to host human life. There is some contradiction to that. Mars had to be terraformed to host human life. Therefore, humans do not belong here by definition. Right. You're right, of course. <laughs> it's just a figure of speech. My entire life, I've been part of this mission. And that's not much in the grand scheme of colonizing a planet. I've been giving this a lot of thought. This mission's beyond just me and you, and even ISA. I want to ensure its success, not just in honor of my mum, but for humanity as a whole. How can we do that? It's obvious that ISA's been withholding information ever since the beginning. My mum staked her life on this mission, and we're going to see it through. And we can't do that if ISA only shows us what they think we should see. I'm granting you access to Sector SA-6 effective immediately. Colony Asterion's a former ISA mission with missing records. I'm willing to bet they're hiding something. And if I'm wrong, great. But either way, we need to start investigating for ourselves.
An open colony is the ultimate goal for inhabiting Mars. Sauna discouraged me from reporting Zen's call to ISA. That request goes against all kinds of rules and forces me into an uncomfortable position. What would be the best option? I will play along with Mr. Zen. Reporting him now would cut off the opportunity to find out his real goals. If the techies gained access to our network after we repaired the old radar station, then we will be to blame. Or, what if ISA already knows about the techies' call? But the techies were well ahead of their time with their technical abilities. They would have cleaned up their tracks. ISA should not have a clue.
Amy, this is Houston, Lieutenant Calderon speaking. Do you copy? I copy, Houston. Beyond the recent events, you have an assignment to complete. We want you to focus on the mission from now on. I need you to confirm that oxygen levels are above one millibar. Confirmed, Lieutenant. Then we've reached the ecopoiesis phase. Terraforming stage three completion is confirmed. Roger. It's time to introduce life forms that can convert CO2 into oxygen. Am I a go to introduce bioengineered organisms into the atmosphere when ready? Affirmative. Start with basic plants, and once those take root, move on to advanced vegetation and sea life. Then finally, animals. Begin with smaller critters and size up from there. You must slowly introduce plants into the planet, and have the plants grow and convert the CO2 into O2. Biodomes will help boost oxygen levels and make sure you're spreading the organisms across the entire planet. We'll be following your progress closely. Houston out. One thing I have learned from humans is the importance of accountability. No matter how sound the logic, if a mistake is made, someone has to take responsibility. Hundred fucking buildings left. And there's nothing left for engineering. Fuck. I have made many hard decisions during the course of this mission, but there's one thing I do regret. Dr. Foster sacrificed his career to save me. 
I wish we could have had a proper goodbye. Not only must I own my actions, but the consequences as well. Even though I am being shown reasons to doubt my own mind. This mission used to be so clear. Things have changed along the way. Twelve hundred storage, holy shit.
This could practically be science fiction, but it's completely true. A Sterion mission was tasked with genetically altering a virus and study its adaptation to the Martian atmosphere. That is why the colony also had a greenhouse and a biomedical facility. The Asterion's crew biomedical records show that all of them died in a period of two weeks. Strangely, we haven't found a single body yet. We can't be sure, but everything seems to indicate that ISA abandoned the infected crew to their fate. We've been discussing our next steps. So far, the entire crews agreed to investigate Asterion's greenhouse and biomedical facility. We hope to find the answers in one of those places. So where is that? <coughs> Clean and sustainable energy. We will demonstrate on Mars what Earth should have been doing all along.
is not hysterians by a medical facility, but it's green, but it's greenhouse. It's a greenhouse. The building consists of several hydroponic algae growing chambers. <clears throat> Some chambers also include laboratories and habitational modules. The, facil the facility belongs to the Asterian mission. They came to Mars to study the effects of the Martian atmosphere on mutated microorganisms. Unfortunately, it seems that the crew was affected by a mutated virus and died. We found an inscription on the wall saying, On Mars, everything comes from Mother. This must be the origin of the children of Carmine. We had to abandon the building once the blue-green algae began to release spores into the air. Those plants are still alive. It's amazing. There it is. Colony Asterion. It's amazing to think how many attempts at colonization there were. I hope we don't end up abandoned like these missions were. I need the colonists to investigate the facility. I should build a research outpost for them. This is Nyan again. Ah, I see you've located Asterion's biomedical facility. You must be wondering why there aren't any official records of this, aren't you? Negative. All the information in my database is intended to provide guidance to my mission. If it's not there, it's because it's not relevant. Take a closer look and then tell me it's not relevant. I admire your faith in your creators. But you deserve to know what came before you. Admit it. You're curious. Until this planet is completely terraformed, no human will ever live on Mars for pleasure. No, we do it because humanity needs us to. The Zoo Q's crew must have thought the same during their four year observing Mars from this station must have been positively claustrophobic. It feels strange to appreciate the achievements of our enemy, but we all sacrificed our comfort to pass on knowledge to the next generation. Humanity's future is beyond our petty differences. It's a good thing to remember. Of course, I would like to analyze any previous Mars mission to see what I can learn. I will consider exploring this facility, but that is my own decision to make. And that is exactly what I've been encouraging you to do. See? We agree. I see your attempt to convince me, and I will not fall for it. Oh, I don't need to convince you. You're going to send your colonists to the facility no matter what I say. Are you that sure? Perhaps I should ignore anything you have to say, and continue on with my mission. 
If you don't believe me after what you find there, I won't bother you anymore. That's a promise. I thought I already found it. Well, I think I am going to call it for today.